All right, now we're down here in North Orem. We just jumped off the freeway. We're looking for a skip address. Should be an apartment complex right here, right off of 1200 West. It's on this uh, maroon Dodge Caliber. We've been looking for it's an 07. So this place here looks like there might be some parking in the rear. Oh yeah, there's parking back down in there. It's down in there, we're just gonna have to freaking back out in there because it's down for a second. Oh, it's over here booming as we go by. Yeah, if it's down in there, we're just gonna have to get down in there and if it's not, we'll just pull straight back out. But if it is, I wanna have the freaking truck ready. Get my lift ready. Alright. Actually I don't have to turn that off too much of a glare to see around that corner. Where's the cutout? I can't see it. Right. Where did I cut it at? Oh, uh, too late, I think. I don't know. We're good. Right there. You need me to get out and... Oh, I got it, I got it. I just gotta watch this tight. I'm gonna stay tight on this side. That is narrow. Dude, that is like freaking... See, this thing's gonna be... You might hit that pole This right thing's there. gonna be front wheel drive. I'm watching it. I'm gonna have to go way to this side. There we go. Dude, I'm gonna be right up against that edge. I think, well, you don't have tow trucks going out in here, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm right up against this wall. My mirrors are going to be, watch your mirror on your side. You're going to clear that pole? They're like tipping in. Yeah, yeah, gonna, barely. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what, two inches? Yeah. Now I can turn my screen on so I can see what's behind me. That's a tight cut, man. See that front bumper? I have to like... It's hard to make that cut. I'm actually gonna have to cut, cut it against the freaking wall right here. Okay. Yep, I see it. It's back there. Right at the last second, I gotta crank the wheel. Watch that front bumper. Oh, just barely cleared that van. front wheel drive for one so we're going to freaking get a key or put it neutral. Well, you know, I may just have you end up driving this out of here. That's not going to be fun to tow up that little skinny. brakes on no shift lock override you see if it's all-wheel drive or not yeah it's only front-wheel drive so I say we uh, let me get a chain on it so in case our assholes will have to drag the fucker up and out hang on a sec before you make contact I said hold on a sec before you make contact there's a good chance they might just come out on their own I actually know a trick on these where you can pop the hood and just disengage the freaking uh, shifter from the, under the hood. Nice. <laughs> Homemade. You always want to, whenever possible, whenever possible, you want to be ready to roll before you make contact. So, yeah, there's a very good possibility, but they can also tell us, get the fuck off the property if we're not ready to roll. We're hanging ourselves. So. We're putting it into neutral. Right there. Yeah, but 
right there is, is a little bolt and there's a little thing, spring loader thing. That you can use a long extension and a, uh, it's like a 12 millimeter and you loosen that bolt. You can just, if you move that thing right there back and forth, you're shifting it from neutral and park. But you can also disconnect it from back here and do it backwards by take, popping this thing off of the, uh, I got it. Just watch my rack. Exactly. I'm crazy bitch with a fucking kitchen knife. I kill you, motherfuckers! Yeah, I've only done this on a couple of uh, Dodge. Uh, the fuck was that? But they're all the same. Okay, yeah, man. I thought we were gonna be done at that. Uh, there we go. Now we're in neutral. Feel, feel the car pull forward backwards. You can feel the car kind of lunge a little bit. Close that door. Yeah, well, we gotta check the wheel. Make sure the wheels aren't gonna turn on us. Is it locked? We want to leave the e-brake on because the e-brake is on the rear tires, so that'll keep that glued to the vehicle. The lift hit your tire over here is hitting the wall. Oh, wait, front or rear? Front. On that on which side? On your side. Okay. Pop the hood again. Run your hand right along the dash, right here, and then pull the lever.
Pretty lucky. What? We're gonna go drop this somewhere and then we're gonna go get the one in Eagle Mountain and then go take the Eagle Mountain one to our place and then come back and get this one. Yeah, because you're pulling it off backwards, all the tension's on it when you freaking go to release it. That's why those simulators have all those missing fake caps over the bolts. And previous drivers doing exactly what I just did, and they hit a wall like that, rips those things right off. Yep, I'm just gonna be getting those things plastic dipped anyways. Fuck yeah! I'm murdering out the whole vehicle. Wheels are next, and then those emblems on the side, like I showed you on that one dude's truck today, and then. Uh, the, the grill, like I told you about. Oh, yeah, to go check that out, too. Do you have another pair of gloves? Yeah, right here. So on that side, remember, on this side, you come and clip down. On that side, you come and clip up. Make sure your sheath is slid all the way out. Almost all the way, about three inches away from the freaking, uh. Wait, this way? This way? The sheath comes down towards the thing you're ratcheting. You want it off the tire as much as possible. Basically the sheath is just acting as a guide for the, um. I, what I do is I make like the last three inches go over the edge of the tire. Holy shit, what happened? All kinds of slack on this thing. There we go. So you go here, at least you want to slide that down a little bit more. So it's about right there. Now pull your slack up. Now do your first ratchet. And then before you do any more. Yep. Now bring it up. And then you got your slack out already, so then you want to bring it back. Kind of do a little elbow. Yep. They're normally for keeping the uh, ties from getting all chewed up by sharp edges like from the inside of the tires they've got the all the suspension shit you get these sheets going up against anything like that like a bolt if you go ratchet it down do it until you start to see a bite and it's right there and then collect it that's it now one of the hardest things to contend with is those popping off in transit no matter how hard you tighten them if you don't do them the correct way they'll loosen their way back and forth and eventually just fall off so it's like, what's the point of even using them if you're not gonna freaking put them on correctly? And I'm always looking for a better way to do them and I like this way. So far, I haven't had a strap come off. We're not putting the wheel things on? The what things? 
No, this thing is front wheel drive. The, the two, back two tires uh, roll free. We only have to put the dolly things on if it's all wheel drive. Right back, since we went ahead and took the time to fucking get it all road ready, I said, let's just fucking run it back to Springville and drop it off at Nebo and just be done with it. Six of one or half dozen of the other, it doesn't matter if we do it now or later. Money's money. Yeah, you get to where you can tell when he brakes on, even if it's the slightest bit, you let off the gas and you just kind of let it roll and just you can tell the truck doesn't want to take off. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to be, but if it's a half decent uh, adjusted freaking knee brake, you'll freaking go down the freeway and you'll freaking get your truck stronger than the e-brake and you'll smell the fucking brakes burning. I've seen guys freaking just totally shred rotors. Uh, something as simple as an e-brake, being left on.